Uh, no sound. Okay. Well, uh, I'm going to figure this out, uh, and I will get back to you. Just give me a minute. Can you hear me now? There you go. Okay. All right. So, look, this is new technology. Uh, my apologies. Uh, and uh, it, uh, it'll get better uh, over time. Can you hear me now? Is it all clear? Is it clear? Hey, Mary from uh, uh, from Alaska. Uh, hey, Kevin, uh, Shane. Um, so this is a new technology made by a company called Mevo. Uh, I'm not at all sure. Um, I'm not at all sure that uh, I'm doing this right. Uh, so it's going to be a little bit of trouble. Um, so, uh, my apologies for this as we try to figure this out, but it's, you're getting an echo. That's what I heard you say. Okay. So, uh, let me see here. I'm going to, uh, while I'm live with you, try to fix this uh, by turning off uh, some of the sound. So, here's what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to uh, uh, sign off so that I can fix the, uh, uh, hold on a minute. So, is that better? <laughs> is that better? Uh, okay. <laughs> she said, fine now, don't touch a thing. <laughs> okay. All right. So uh, this is, um, uh, I want to make sure everybody can hear me. Uh, okay, great. So uh, this technology is, uh, is amazing. Uh, it's made by a young entrepreneurship, an entre entrepreneurial company. Mevo is the name of the company. Um, you should check it out. Uh, they came from nothing, just an idea, and have created this incredible, basically portable movie theater. Uh, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to, uh, to tell folks to watch this particular video as something that will travel around the world because I'm testing this out, but I'm going to deliver an important message to you today. Um, so I see you signing in, Donnie uh, Maiden, um, and uh, as you sign in, I'll try to acknowledge you. Uh, this is John Hope Bryant, founder, chairman, and CEO of Operation Hope. If you don't know who I am, we're just about below 10 million views for this series. It started March 2nd on Silver Rights, straight talk series uh, uh, with me, John Hope Bryant. I'm the author of Love Leadership, uh, the new way to lead to, in a fear-based world. And yes, the picture is very clear for somebody who just said that. Uh, it's uh, a whole new technology, and hopefully the connection will be clear. I'm also author of Love Leadership, uh, the new way to lead in a fear-based world, and how the poor can save capitalism. Uh, Operation Hope, which I founded, has invested $2 billion uh, in inner city and underserved neighborhoods. So I know uh, uh, a, little bit, a little bit about how to build wealth. Um, so let me, uh, uh, let me suggest uh, today uh, a very specific uh, and new topic. Uh, it's uh, about building real wealth, and it's a question that I'm going to help you answer. We're going to answer it together. Um, Robert just says, thanks for what you do. Thank you as well, Robert. Uh, again, I'm going to ask you to bear with me on this technology because I may not be able to uh, respond to everybody. Um, thank you, Casey. Nice book, by the way, and good read. Thank you. I, uh, because it's, a, it's just a whole new world for me, and I'm learning it uh, literally. Talking about courage as I go with you here. Uh, Memphis is ready to go. That's uh, Damian Ross. Okay, so here's the question um, for you. Uh, is Internet access enough? Do you even need basic education anymore? Or given the power of the internet, can you just watch videos and set yourself free? Um, hey, Aubrey, Audrey Brown. Hey, uh, Kenyon um, Bar Bar Barnon Chapman. Mevo is awesome. Okay, I'm glad you like it. Um, the answer to that question um, is no. The internet is not enough. And let me tell you why it's not enough. There's a report that just came out today from the OECD. The uh, OECD is in Paris, uh, France. It represents the, basically the um, uh, Lillian Williams. Hey, I just gave my shut, uh, shut it down salutation. I, uh, okay. Uh, Dominique Wallace. No, I like books. Okay, I missed the first part of that. Okay. Again, I'm trying to figure this out as I'm talking to you. I hope you're going to forgive me this first time. This is going to be a little video a little sloppy. Okay, so... Uh, is education enough or is internet access enough? Is internet access enough? The answer is no. Is education enough? You cannot get enough education to change form your life. But let me be very specific. The OECD in Paris issued a report, World Economic Forum, amplified the report. It basically said that they've surveyed, you know, majority of the nations in the world um, and found 
uh, that poor people uh, actually have as much internet access these days as wealthy kids. And in some cases, uh, while there's, the, there's still a digital divide, y yes, it's very serious, um, although there are more cell phones, by the way, in Africa at the moment than there are people, right? There are like 800 million people and there's like 900 million cell phones. So uh, and not only these are smartphones, but the cell phone internet and the internet access is increasing. Latin America, the Middle East, some kids can't get at internet access except at school. Um, Jordan and a couple other places are in, in Africa situations like this. But they found that there was a big difference between uh, how poor people uh, and those who are struggling use the internet and how wealthy kids do. And this is incredibly important. I put this uh, report on my public figures page, John Hope Bryant Live, that you should go and read the report with your family. Um, but here's what the report said. It said that um, in some cases, poor kids are actually reading, uh, are on the internet even more than uh, wealthy kids. But what they found is that they, wealthy kids and poor people use the internet completely differently. The wealthier kids are reading the newspaper, using the internet to search the newspaper, uh, to search articles, to do research. And poor kids or kids from struggling families like the community I grew up in in South Central LA and Compton, but it could be, by the way, rural uh, communities, uh, it could be rural white communities, by the way, um, that those poor families were using the, to search for videos, to uh, entertainment, gossip, um, just um, a more visual, visceral, emotional stuff, not so much for left brain analytical stuff. Th that doesn't say anything about poor people other than our role models need to be, may pay, pay closer attention because you model what you see. Watch how you live your life. It may, be, it may be the most powerful thing or the only Bible that anybody else reads. I'm gonna repeat that. Watch how you live your life. It may be the only Bible that anybody else reads. So what are kids modeling? Do you have books in your house? If you don't read, don't expect your kids to, right? Uh, are you spending all your time on the internet watching gossip and celebrity shows? That's what your kids are going to watch. And so, the, it, without basic, here's another powerful thing. And 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 this is hard to say, but when you don't, when you can't read and you write, and you can't write, you're not going to embarrass yourself. So you're not going to try to go to the Wall Street Journal or the New York Times. You're going to go watch videos. You're going to do something that's more visual because it's not going to challenge you. So, so kids who can't read and write are handicapped from even doing the research to be able to empower themselves to take their life back. Does that make sense? So there's nothing wrong with our kids, right? Uh, our kids are brilliant. It's what we don't know that we don't know that's killing us. But the internet is like the new TV. It's like the new radio. It's like the new book. Uh, you still need basic education to set yourself free because you need analytical skills, you need to be able to evaluate uh, whether something on the internet is actually true or not. You need to be able to target uh, the internet in a way that truly empowers your life. This, I used to think, like, th there's nothing more powerful than the internet. Like, well, you know, everybody should be uh, wealthy now. It's just not true. This report confirms, once again, that poor families are actually using the internet more, but for completely different things. The right side of your brain is creative. That's where hope, dreams, aspiration, love, charity, compassion, joy, um, depression, um, uh, dreams. That's where all that stuff is, is, is housed, good and bad. The left side of your brain is analytical, uh, measurement, math, science, technology. Uh, so, so you need to make sure you're using the right side of your brain to fire the imagination on the left side of your brain. I hope that makes sense to you. Um, uh, J. J. Juan Carter just checked in. He sent a PowerPoint presentation to my assistant via email. Okay, just understand, by the way, everybody, I get a ton of messages, and everybody can't talk to me. Uh, that's why I do this video series, so that I'm doing basically e-mentoring around the world. I'm, I'm, I'm halfway around the world right now trying to write my next book. But don't get mad if my office doesn't respond to every request you send in it. That's why I've got a team of 200 people at Operation Hope who are better than me in their areas, right? Because all I'm going to do is refer you to them. Uh, if you send me something, all I'm going to do, if I think it's really smart, is send it to them. So you might as well go to them anyway, because if they say it's smart, I'm going to pay attention to it. If they don't think it's smart, I, I it'll never reach my desk. So, uh, uh, hey, Lee Hall, uh, good, e good uh, evening to you too. So look, um, I feel a little, I'm cheating you a little bit. Internet makes it so that we don't need a book. 
I don't know. Uh, I read books all the time. Um, I, I think that the internet makes you lazy. Uh, it, it, because you're, you're really, it, it fires a different side of your brain. You need the right side of your brain and the left side of your brain uh, engaged. Creative, the left, right side of your brain. Analytical, the left side of your brain. And, um, you know, I, I don't know about you, I can get dragged into YouTube for like three hours. You, you, get on, you get on Facebook, get up in the morning, talk about you're going to go work out, and if you get dragged into Facebook in the wrong way, tell, tell me I'm right here or wrong here, you can sit there for two hours and just pop by, and you're just doing nothing but looking at crazy videos and people sitting, you know, doing stupid stuff. See, true, uh, Marvin twice. So I don't, I don't think that the, I think the internet actually can be your biggest detriment. This phone can be your biggest detriment. I mean, people don't even talk to anybody anymore. What's a whole generation doing when they're walking down the street? Watch, I'm going to use the, the, uh, this powerful tool now to, so you can see a, uh, what I'm saying. What, are, what is a whole generation doing? What, this. They're walking down the street doing this, right? They're walking down the street looking at their phone. They're not talking to, uh, to you. They're not talking to another person. Um, uh, it can be good or bad, or, uh, uh, Reed says, agree. But we're not we're not socializing anymore. We this you know people rather use lose their wallet than lose their phone, right? So uh, yeah, Damien says, uh, yep, just like that. So, Damien, that's a great guy by the way. He just got two master's degrees. So education is critically important because education education is the ultimate poverty eradication tool. When you know better, you do better. And once you're educated, nobody can take that from you ever, ever, ever. Uh, the internet is another way to get educated, but you know. It, it, by the way, if you want to hide your money from a criminal, put them in a book because criminals don't read. <laughs> no one's going to ever break in your house and steal a book. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. So I am, uh, the internet game is addiction is one of the biggest distractions and waste of valuable time. This is Terrence Scott. Yep, I agree. Uh, we need to be more disciplined. Audrey says that. Absolutely. By the way, are you enjoying this new technology? Um, uh, uh, let me know because it's been this video has been a little bit of ready fire aim, but I, I think the visuals are amazing, um, and uh, hopefully you're enjoying this uh, even though I can't type. Okay, schools need more computer in Utah, uh, and all the schools have computers. Uh, Ant Antonio Ray, right? I, di I dismissed a lot of women because they all want to do is text, n never talk. Hello. <laughs> Yeah, you know, we used to talk to each other. By the way, the study also found that wealthier kids uh, email and poor kids text. I don't know what that means, but that's that's re really sort of wild. Uh, you know, in other words, we're using shorthand, and we're not even. You'd be amazed the letters I get that have horrible English. I mean, people who just cannot read. I'm not like dissing anybody, but they. It's like they left school in fifth grade or something. They don't know how to, you know, compose sentences. They don't know how to spell. And how are you going to get a job uh, in the modern economy if you can't compete, right? So when people say it's racism, well, it might be racism, but you're making it easier for somebody to dismiss you if you can't read and you can't write. Cerise um, <laughs> is like, oh, my God. Okay, uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Uh, I, I've been on for 14 minutes. This has not been as smooth as I like it. You know, I like coming at you just right. But I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, go get the report from the OECD. There's a there's a link to the report on my Facebook uh, page. Kevin O'Neill says, hey, John, uh, Arcelius, I'm coming to Atlanta just only to visit your organization. Silver rights. Uh, by the way, don't come expecting to see me. Uh, I'm passing myself in airports, 600,000 air miles a year. I'm rolling. But please do come. Uh, Internet should be a tool. Delmar Bennett, I agree. But please do come to, to Atlanta and see my, uh, my team of people. Uh, uh, that's why I thank you. Okay, good. Come to see my folks. Absolutely. All right. Uh, before I shut this thing down, let me know what you think about this technology. Yes? No? You, do you like this uh, new system? I'm going to have to find a way. Uh, you'll get it together. We've got great confidence in you, <laughs> Damien. I don't know. Uh, but I never give up, Damien. Ever, ever, ever. Thank you for your time. Sean Mitchell uh, says, all right, uh, I'm about to sign off. Unbi unbought and unbossed. Civil rights is the new movement. And the uh, Fitzroy Liang Le 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 says, I like it. I hope I said your name uh, properly. Um, uh, unbought, unbossed, unbiased, nonpartisan coming at you straight and no chaser with a new movement. We're sitting in a moment in history, folks, but history never feels historic when you're sitting in it. It just feels like another day. But make sure you take your place in history and remember, 
watch how you live your life. It may be the only Bible anybody else reads. So when you go at home, go home tonight, or get up in the morning, think about the people from your children to your coworkers, to your friends, who are looking at you as a symbol of who they should be. Uh, and we got to make smart sexy again because we've been making dumb sexy for far too long. That's essentially what this report has said. All right. Love you. I'm out. Peace and light. Hope you enjoyed this.